Among the best known objects to have come from Sierra Leone is a wooden helmet mask known commonly as a sowe or sometimes as a bundu mask. Uh, these are masks worn by officials in the women's society known as Sande among the Mende and Bundu uh, among the Timni. The mask is worn with a costume of raffia and black cloth which completely conceals the wearer, the dancer, underneath so that it would be seen in public only with the mask worn together with the black raffia and black cloth costume. The mask represents or embodies the guardian spirit of the women's society. It is worn, I said, by one of the officials. The high officials of the women's society are referred to as Soe in Mende. And the person who wears the mask is known as the Indole Jowe, the, the dancing Soe. Now, the distinctive features of this mask, I said it was an embodiment of the guardian spirit of the society. And this mask is an icon of female beauty. So it has certain features which embody for the Mende classic female beauty. The beautifully designed and plated headdress, the patterns of the headdress, which show very distinctively on this mask. So the hair is drawn into tresses and then linked up with the top knots, which you can see on this mask, clearly outlined. Then there are the distinctive neck rings of the mask. The Mendy and the Timney do consider symmetrical rings on the neck as a sign of beauty. Now, if you see them on a figure, of course, the neck is quite slender and the rings are clearly visible. Sometimes the neck is extended. In the case of a mask, of course, in order that the mask itself can go over the head of the person who's wearing it, the neck has to be expanded. And for that reason, some people uh, discussing these masks said that they were rings of fat, but clearly they are not because they are not expanded in that way on the corresponding female figures. And the Mendy do not regard fat girls as beautiful. So well-rounded, yes. That would, be, that, that would be acceptable, but certainly not fat. So this is simply the fact that the, the necks, the rings bulge out in this way, is simply because of the necessities of having a helmet mask which fits over the head. So you have the beautifully designed hair, and you have the rings around the neck, and then you have the facial features a noble high forehead, downcast eyes, which are indications of modesty, and rather neat female features, small nose, slightly pursed mouth, not, an, not usually an open mouth. You can also make out on this mask scarification marks, which again are signs of uh, Mende, um, culture, that these are, these are seen as, as indications of beauty, so that the, the person who uh, exhibits these features is not simply raw and uncultivated, but bears the marks of uh, human society and human culture. So I say, 
These you can see very clearly on this particular mask, the naturalistic representation of the hair, the, the neck rings which go clearly right round the neck, and the, the high forehead with the small features. These are the classic features of uh, these masks. And because they were so, so common, so commonly seen in the course of society celebrations, and perhaps I should say at this point that the Women's Society, Sunday and Bondo, is responsible for the initiation ceremonies which um, allow a girl to become an adult woman in Mende or Timney society, so that these celebrations would be the time when the, the Indoli Doe, the, the dancing Sui, would come out to embody the society in public. So this is a particularly naturalistic uh, uh, representation of the, the guardian spirit of the Sunday society. Let me take another example in which the features are more stylized. Uh, this is a mask which um, again has the representation of the hair and the, these lobes uh, built up of the hair which was commonly used by um, the wives of chiefs for example in the early part of the 20th century, the end of the 19th century, particularly in the eastern part of Sierra Leone. But in this case, the hair is not represented, at least this part of it is not represented very naturalistically. Indeed, what you have are actually weaving patterns, uh, which are apparent, sometimes cross patterns. So these are not uh, close and naturalistic representation of the hair. It is a way of representing hair dressing but replacing it by, by weaving patterns. In the same way you can see with the neck rings, whereas in the previous mask the neck rings extended right round the mask, in this case they start at the ear and they run round to the other ear so that the neck rings are only present in the back of the mask. Nevertheless, they are the representation of neck rings that you would expect to find uh, on a beautiful uh, Mendy woman or Vai woman. Um, likewise, although these represent the way in which the hair was built up in lobes running from front to back, these are slightly stylized. The head, likewise the face, there's an exaggeration of the, the curve of the, the brow. You have an exceptional high brow here. The features are again a little triangle at the bottom with the mouth slightly pursed and the eyes cast down. Hey!